Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? We have got a look at Treasure Hunter Simulator. Now you may remember that a very long time ago I had a look at Treasure Hunter Simulator. Uh, it might have been Metal Detecting Simulator or something like that. I don't know if these are in any way related. I think they are. I think this is like a later iteration of the same game, but I've, I've got no idea. This is looking pretty good though from just like the screenshots and stuff that I've seen. So we're going to take a quick look. Uh, exploration is locked at the moment. Need to complete story mode. This game is out soon. And by soon, I mean on the 6th of December. This game is being published by Playway. And we are going to go into story mode, considering we can't do exploration mode. And we're going to see what we can do. Now, I have played around with the sound and the settings and so on. Uh, I have no idea if the sound levels are right. I can't dial down very much the um, the clicking that we get. There's no clicking here. Welcome to Treasure Hunter. This is a tutorial level. In it, we will teach you how to play and find treasures quickly and effectively. If you already know how to play Treasure Hunter, you can press skip button below. Otherwise, press OK to start. So we will start here. Now, I am pretty certain this is the same one that we played previously. It was a long time ago. We played a metal detecting um, game, didn't we? We had we had this metal detecting. Uh, to move, you can use the WASD keys. You can press shift to run. Yeah, it was metal detecting simulator, I think. But I got a feeling that this is actually the same game. It's just they've worked on it a lot. And it's now beautifully upgraded. This is actually really cool. Uh, when you enter a location, you always bring your PDA with you. The PDA will not only allow you to see where you are on a map, but also check your current jobs and take photos using the camera. To open the PDA, press the PDA key, default M. So we'll have a look in here. And this is the world map. Here you'll find a top-down view of the current location with important landmarks landmarked. Right there, we've got... Uh, ooh, what is that? Waypoint, treasure found, historical object. Oh, I see. You can make a waypoint. Okay, we'll drop that. Uh, you can also check your current jobs. In this section, you will find all about the jobs that you've accepted. We have not accepted any jobs just yet. And then you've got the cameras. The PDA camera you can to take photos during your adventures. Some jobs require to take photos of specific objects in the world. So... Something to do with the Battle of Gettysburg, this is. I think this is... Uh, I've, I've heard of the Battle of Gettysburg. It's something in the United States. Um, I don't remember what your Battle of Gettysburg was all about, though. Uh, I have no clue. Right. Uh, press M to return to the PDA. And... All right, well, we'll come out... Of the, let's, uh, let's come out of the PDA, then. What next? Search icon. When you get close to a treasure, your detector will start emitting a low frequency. You can focus on your detector and enter the search mode. This mode will allow you to locate treasure and dig it up. To enter this mode, press the detector key, right mouse button. Right, wait a minute. We're going to go to here. Unstuck, return to office. We're going to, we're, we're definitely going to go in here. We're going to dial that down a little bit. We've got the ambient sounds, which are quite nice. Okay, let's dial it down a bit more. The music's good in the background. Okay. Let's try this. Continue. You cannot dial down the sound in the uh, menu. Right. While in search mode, you can move your movement keys. Additionally, you can use the rotation keys, Q and E, to rotate left or right. While searching, a tree detector will make sounds. The higher the frequency, lower the time between the sounds, closer you are to a treasure. Additionally, the closer you are to a treasure, the more the icon... In the lower right corner, will fill up. Try to find treasure now. I don't have an icon in the lower right. Once you manage to place a detector above a treasure, it will make a specific sound. This means the treasure is right under the detector. Okay, well, it's obviously back. Ah. It was there. It's definitely there. Did you not hear it bleep? I did. I seen it bleep as well. 
I think this game could actually be a lot of fun. Oh, there. There we go. Right. You managed to find a treasure. Now you will need to dig it up. Digging it up will require you to pull out your shovel. To grab your shovel, press the action key, left mouse button. When the detector is above a treasure, this will lock your position. Okay, so I've got it on there. Now I do that. That's locked my position right there. And click to dig. Oh, I see. I, I, you just you, you just click the mouse button. You don't press and hold. And then it does one shovel full. So then we, we uh, click to gather. We've obviously dug in. We've dug in deep enough. What do we got? Is it valuable? We have an old needle. Um... Every time you dig up a treasure, the identification mode will start. In this mode, you can look up the treasure freely and choose to identify it. Keep in mind that only identified treasures can be added to your collection. Identify the treasures and place it in your inventory. Keep in mind that trash items will not need to be identified. Okay. Uh, an old needle. Shall we spray our own eyeballs with something rather nasty? <laughs> Judging by the material length and shape, well, first of all, over this side. Oh, oh, oh no, ah, here we go. Once it's identified, you can place it in your inventory by pressing the take. Once added to your inventory, items will remain there until you return to your office, at which point they'll be moved to your collection. Judging by the material length and shape, especially the hole, referred to as the eye, this needle likely to date back to the 18th or even the 17th century. So it's quite an old needle. Needles have been used as early as a prehistoric e era, where needles made out of thorn or rock fragments have been used with sinew or plant material as thread for sewing together animal skins. The earliest documented needles date back 61,000 years in Africa. Bone needles were used as far back as 50,000 years ago, while copper needles have been dated back to 4,400 BC. The first iron needles date back to the 3rd century BC. I like that you get a decent bit of history with it. This is actually very, very cool. So we'll take that one. We've got a 300-year-old needle. Achievement unlock first steps. Inventory. After picking up and identifying a treasure, you place in your inventory. After you return to your office and you place uh, to open your inventory and default eye. There we go. So there is our ruined needle right there. Uh, press I again to come out of there. Right, now what? Legendary. Each zone you visit will have a special treasure called a Legendary. These items are very rare and can only be found if you get some tips from where to about where to look. Once found, identified and stored, a Legendary item will greatly increase your prestige within the Treasure Hunter for so Society. Try to find the Legendary item on this map with what you've learned so far. Uh, what have I learned so far? All I've found is... There. At any point, you can return to your office and pick a new zone to adventure to. To return to your office, press the escape key and uh, the escape key and choose return to office. Okay, and we go to map. Right there, we've got. We've looked around this little bit here. Uh, that's the waypoint that I set on there. Historical object, you treasure found. So we found. Oh no, this uh, treasure found is that bit right there. Jobs. We don't actually have a job. Um, there's nothing else on there. And you, you just press the X to get that you know, rid of that one. Okay, let's, let's carry on along here. We go to this historical place over here. We've, we've got that bit. Ooh. Okay. I'm hearing the beeping. How close... So I'm sort of, I'm getting an idea of how much area the beeping covers. And then we'll sort of go towards the middle of that area there. Right click. Bring that out. Ah, right. Getting louder and louder. Over this, there, there we go, Look, right there, and so then you just, you click, just uh, just a straight click with your mouse, and then we can dig, so we're going to dig down. Now, we found a needle last time, that's, um, oh, we got a key, ooh, shiny. Right, so we have a, an old key right there, 
Uh, click to reset rotation. Oh, I see. Right. Ah, you, you've got a lot of rotation on it. So we can have a look at the item. We can move it round. Identify. There we go. Spray our own eyeballs with an aerosol. <laughs> I love it. This key is made out of iron and dates back to the 19th century. Judging by its size, pin, wards and bits, this key was used either for a padlock or a lock in a drawer or small cabinet. The earliest known lock and key device was discovered in the ruins of Nineveh. Nineveh? Nineveh, I think. The capital of ancient Assyria. Actually, that's quite impressive. That is a very long time ago. We have another item. We have another item added to our backpack. So let's go for a little wander. A little wander. Um, I imagine that this area here has been thoroughly investigated. Did we ought to go back to... The, it said something about looking for a legendary item here. But I'm not sure if we can look for the legendary item right here. Or if we're looking elsewhere. We can run. If I'm running, do I... Activate my, um, what do you call? My, my, my beeping. Oh. Is it inside here? It appears to be inside here. Uh, right click. That's getting much slower in there. Oh, wow, that was quick. That was really, really quick, that was. Open this, uh, yeah, there we go, we dig. Just click on that one. Uh, dig again. Let's try again. What are we going to get? Are we, are we going to actually get... Ooh, gather. Uh, that is... This, that looks like a lighter. Is that a lighter? Nope, that's actually a gun. Era, possibly late 19th century. A 19th century muzzle loaded musket. Oh, uh, that's going to say it's, it's not a loaded musket. It's a, it's a muzzle loaded musket. So the, the musket here, it would... Oh, it doesn't spin round. We can only spin it this in this wise direction. Um, indicates it's rifled and given the age and place it is safe to conclude it was made to use by the mini ball maybe one of the Springfield 18 series models I've, 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 none of that means a great deal to me at least we're not spraying our eyeballs this time right Springfield model 1855 Rus price oh this is the legendary item nice from the American Civil War. Back then, it was a revolutionary weapon that changed the battlefield. Its rifled barrel and the use of the mini ball not only increased the musket's effective range, but also its accuracy. The use of the then new Maynard tape primer meant that the precision cap did not have to be manually placed and also prevented many of the misfires, which in turn resulted in significantly faster reload times compared to earlier musket. Back in those days, how often a soldier could fire his musket actually trumped accuracy and range. Right, we now have our legendary item. Good job! Congratulations, you found your first legendary item and thus completed the tutorial. Go back to the office now and learn more about what you could do there. To return to the office, press escape and choose return to office. Do you want to return to the office? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm actually quite liking this game so far. That's only a small map. Uh, there are other maps. There's several of them. Right, click to open the treasure app. What else have we got in the office? We don't have anything. We have got a very nice office. I tell you what, looking around this property that we have, we're doing rather well for ourselves. Unless this is a rented office. In which case it's a little bit more depressing, isn't it? We actually live in a caravan somewhere out the back. Uh, the map is the main view when you enter the computer and is used to set destinations for your next adventures. To use it, simply select a pin on a world map and press travel. Before you go, you can also read more about the location on the information panel to the right from the map. Bavarian Lake location, Alatsi, Bavaria, Germany. Well, nothing really exciting as such ever happened there. The Alat Sea, the Alat Lake, is one of those locations on every treasure hunter's radar. One of the reasons for this area's fame among the selected group of people are rumours of it being the resting place of Hitler's gold. While a likely untrue as shown by evidence of endless divers trying and failing to find it, the area is known to yield interesting finds, be it those from the First or Second World War. An old German... 
Pickle Helm would for sure have been an interesting addition to any collection. So have we got any other places we can go? Uh, we don't. Email. Your email is where you receive job offers. All job offers are divided into sections, jobs, and side jobs. First one holds all jobs that will push the storyline forward. Side jobs will allow you to gain prestige while completing tasks for other minor factions. Uh, Johann Schmidt, inheritance case 65202. Uh, Robin Hewitt, cleaning up. That's uh, special jobs and side jobs over here. Sophie Lewis, botanists, forging roots, updating website. Updating website. Every job offer consists of a small explanation of who wants to hire you and for what. Following that, you, that you can see the map where the job can be completed, the tasks and the rewards you would get for completion. Okay. Take a photo of the Cannon Monument near the right. Uh, I'm currently in contact with multiple small business owners in the area that would like to offer highly paid jobs. We're reaching out to you because of how your profile fits our requirements. Please find details about the job attached to this message. Gettysburg. Take a photo of the main monument. Take a photo of the Cannon Monument near the entrance. We can do that. We've already been there. We may as well go, we can, we can go back to Gettysburg. So then we go to the map over here. And we got Gettysburg right there. Travel cost 150. We don't have enough cash. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Right. Forging routes. Recently learned about the level of professionalism you present from one of our side contractors. We're currently looking for a highly skilled individual to help us with a small contract. Please find the information attached to this email if you're interested. Please let us know. Uh, Bavarian Lake. Find the fastest route from the river to the upper village. 100 prestige. Attachments down here. If I take a picture, um, botanists, please let me know in the Bavarian Lake. We need to take a picture of that one, that one, and that one. And then there's all sorts of attachments. Uh, so what's this up here? My name is Johann Schmidt. I am writing to you as a representative of the Willpower Inheritance Company. We regret to inform you that your uncle, Sir Richard Clapperton, has deceased. I'm sending this message to you to inform you that we are starting the inheritance case 65202. Following Sir Richard's wishes, I am also providing your email address to a selected number of contacts that will follow a different set of rules provided in the last will. One year from now, these contracts will be asked to provide a full review of your actions, and based on them, we'll be able to write to wire the part of your inheritance that Sir Richard wished to give you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, Johann Schmidt. You've not told me anything! Providing your email address to a selected number of contacts that will follow a different set of rules provided in the last will. One year from now, these contacts will be asked to provide a full review of your actions, and based on them, we'll be able to wire the part of the in What inheritance? You haven't actually told me what inheritance. Jobs. Oh, I see. That's, that's the jobs that I've got. Inbox. Um... What inheritance? You, you, you've told me nothing. You Literally, you've told me nothing. Anyway. Greetings, my name is Robin Hewitt. I represent the Institute of Archaeology. I'm writing to you thanks to our mutual friend, Johann Schmidt. Currently, we do not have major job offers that we can present to you. But if you wish to start a closer working relationship with our organization, I'd like to offer you a job in the Bavarian Lake area. We're looking to get a permit to search the area and establish an archaeological camp. In order to do that, we must make a good impression. Please let me know if you accept it. Robin Hewitt, Institute of Archaeology. We need to clean up the Altersy area of trash. So, I'm to become a trash picker, essentially. We need to find a fastest route to the river, um, to the upper thingy, uh, the, the, yeah. Uh, attachment one. There is the Veronica Spicita. And that one is the Viscara Vulgaris. And that is the Trifolium Pretens. It does appear that there are three different pink flowers. Except, take that, uh, detectors. Okay. Analog and digital. Right, well, that's the one that we've got. The JMAR LB1019MK. Shallow, small, medium, large. Okay. Uh, well, ideally, we want that bad boy right there. The Wojtek K22H3D. 
Seems pretty good. Unlock at Prestige 4, Prestige 5, 6, 7, and then 8. Okay, that is a serious beast. Collection. Collection tab, you find a list of all your different treasures. So we've got their value. Value, value is priceless. Can I sell this one? I cannot. Uh, you are... Uh, ah, I can sell that for $11 and that one for $11. Map over here, Gettysburg. I don't have enough cash to go there. This one travel is free to the Bavarian Lake. So let's leave the collection for a minute and we will travel to the Bavarian Lake. We'll take a look over here. I'm li I'm liking this game. It's got a nice background to it. There's a load of other sort of bits and pieces that go in with it as well. That, um, keep things interesting. We need to find the quickest route to the village and we've got to pick up a load of trash, apparently. Um, and we need to take pictures of flowers. So look at the map. Right, we are down here, and... What is that? How do I get rid of the waypoint? I don't know how to get rid of the waypoint. Jobs. The very late cleaning up. Right, so that's the stuff that we got to do. We've got to clean up. Mousing over this, I don't see anything. Huh. Well, it says that we got to clean up. We got some historical objects and stuff like that. Um, not a lot down here. I go through. No. What is this? Oh, I'm not sure what that is. There's a map. I think we need to go this way. We need to go along here. I've got my metal detector with me. Uh, right, okay. It does it does keep you safe. It doesn't allow you to throw yourself off down into the onto the rocks below. So we've got to find the quickest route. From somewhere to somewhere, haven't we? Where was it? Quickest route from the Quickest route from the valley up, wasn't it? Uh forging routes. Fastest route from the river to the upper village. Hmm. Well, that's... I, I, uh, yeah, fastest route from the river to the upper village. Where's the upper village? Is that the upper village? I'm by the river right here. I'm guessing through there. Because there's, there's only these bits here that we can go to. So I don't really know. Closing, uh, Pressing escape, by the way, doesn't close your, your map down. Um, which seems a little bit unfortunate. You would have thought that it might. So what is this? Time trial. You've entered a time trial start area. If you'd like to start the time trial now, press yes. Otherwise, press no. You can start this trial later. Go for it. What am I... What, what, what am I time trialing? I... What am I supposed... What? Seriously? Uh, continue. Map. In a time trial, if you'd like to cancel the time trial, press yes. Otherwise, press no. Pressing no does not stop. No, I don't want... Oh. I'm going to assume that the time trial means I'm supposed to find something quickly. What am I supposed to find? Ah. Right, let's, let's bring this one out here. I want to go this way. There we go. One minute exactly. So it, that's what it was. It was just a timer to try and find an item, I'm guessing. It does kind of make sense because, you know, we are um, supposed to be looking for treasure. We're treasure hunters. Uh, what do we get? An old rifle casing. Yeah, that's not particularly ex exciting at all. It's been used. Um, spray out our eyeballs a minute. $26. A ruined point three dash zero six Springfield cartridge without the propellant or bullet hose. Difficult to determine if it was from World War One, World War Two, or later. A very popular from its inception 1906 until the 1980s. Um, right, okay. We'll take that. I got another one. 
I got... I, I got another one. Ah. Wait a minute. Look. Do you see the bar down on the... Now I can actually see that bar filling up. Right? That's, that's filling right up. So somewhere around here... There we, there we go. There, right there. Uh, yeah, did you see the thing on the side there? That one was actually filling up that time. I don't think it did properly in, in the first one that we used. Have we got another rifle casing here, or is this something different? We've got... I can't see anything in there. What's that? Uh, that is a bit of trash. Carab a carabiner. I don't have anything. Achievement unlocked. Experienced. Cleaning up. One of five items found. Seriously? That is the cleaning up that we got to do? <laughs> okay, there is a lot of cleaning up. It's very, very beautiful here. I've got settings quite high for graphics. Um, I haven't got the draw distance set in, you know, particularly high. I thought I'd keep that just dialed back a little bit. Um... Right, well, first of all, I'm going to press M right here, and I'm going to go to the camera. So I'm pretty sure that was one of the flowers that I needed. There, right. Uh, press M to return to PDA, and do that. Oh, that's switched off. Let's go to here. This way. Beeping gets higher and higher. And on the bottom right-hand side, we should see that start to fill up after a while. Nope, we want to go this way. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now it's starting to fill up. That way. Yep, yeah, it's around here somewhere. That way. There we go, and then click. As soon as it goes like that, you click and you've got it. Start digging. What are we going to get? we got to get something cool. we got to get something really awesome, really cool here. Go on, please. Give us our absolute wonderful... Ooh, there I see something in there. It was only very small. A pull ring. <laughs> Great. So we found a buried pull ring. That's the second piece of trash. That's that's one of the ones that we had to find. Apparently, a buried pull ring. Another one now. Okay, let's 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 go straight forward. Yeah, straight. It's actually straightforward. I want to I want to keep going this way. It's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, there. Back a little bit. There we go. Found it right there. Click to dig. And it's right under here. What are we going to get? Is this, is this going to be another piece of trash? Or are we going to get something a little bit more valuable this time? I don't see anything in the pit this time. I don't see anything in there at all. So we, uh, the, a metal fastener. Yeah, that, that's more trash. Right, well, there's... I got another one going. Oh, one going already. Let's go that way. No, this is... It, I want to go straight this way. Just keep going. Straight line. No. Oh, there we go. There. Right there, we've got another one. What is this going to be? I'm, I'm really enjoying it. This game's actually really cool. It's just like a... It's a very chilled out sort of game. You're not going to get like masses of excitement with this. It's a very chilled, relaxed sort of game. Um, but I think you could spend several hours... We've got a musket ball here. Identify, so we'll spray our own eyeballs with this cleaner. Projectile used in muskets given the size of the ball that could be either from early muskets or even an ar an arquebus, the gunpowder a gunpowder weapon preceding muskets. This in turn means it dates back possibly as early as fifteenth century or as late as the early seventeenth. Projectile of musket is correctly called a ball, not a bullet. Interestingly enough, the word bullet is derived from the French word boulette, which in turn roughly means little ball. $31 for that one, and it's rare. Okay, we've done well. We achieved, achieve and unlock, we got a rare. Right. Let's have a little look around here. 
there's a flower. Pretty sure I've already got a picture of that flower. Let me bring this one up. I want to go this way. Definitely clicking higher over here. And then looking at the little meter there, I want to go this way. Go that way. Oh. That's the way. Oh, oh, there we go. That that was that was quite a big area there. I'm wondering if we found something a bit more substantial here. Whether we've gotten something like super cool or whether it's just another piece of trash. That looks like another musket ball. A second one of the same. These are rare. Small round lead ball, likely from a musket. Identify. And is it going to be the same? It's $26. Um, exactly the same. This is rarity normal. This one. Oh, condition tolerable. I'm guessing that we can have, we can go in here. Uh, you have a look there. So you've got the ruined casing, carabiner, pull ring, metal fastening, lead musket ball. Good condition. Um, destruction. I'm guessing that's it. It's supposed to be condition. Um, good. And that one's tolerable, which is why this one's a rare one. And that one is, yeah, because it's a ruined one. And that's a, a lead musket ball. Right. Uh, press I to, I to close that one. There we go. Let's carry on. What else have we got? Uh, right. Oh, ah. Oh, look, it's it's come up with the, the actual cap. Why is it pointing with the camera? I already took a picture of the flowers, but apparently that wasn't good enough. So let's just go here a minute and we'll take a picture with the camera there. There we go. And then Z to exit. So there's one there and then there's another one over here. I want to just press M a minute and I want to go and have a look at the jobs. So we got the side, the botanist's one there. Is it... It's not actually telling me if I've done it. I got... That's the one that I have just took a picture of. I literally just took a picture of that one. So why are you pointing at it again? Just in case there's something wrong with it. I'm going to go back to the camera here and... Oh. It did something there. It did an, a little update thing. Um... Press Z to exit, and then we've got another one here somewhere, so we'll search around here. And then there was another one back there up those steps. But before we worry about that, let's just go to here and go to the jobs, and then we can see... Not that one, this one. Right, that's, that bit's now completed. So it had the other one, but it wasn't completed, possibly because you've got to do these in order. Let's bring you out. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to turn around this way. That way. Uh, that way straight there. We, we want to go straight into this line right here. Oh. Ah, there, there. There we go. Look, we found another one. Dig you out. What do we got? Is this, is this going to be something really awesome? I am loving this game. That Like, seriously, when I played this game the first time round, I'm... I, it's got to be the same one that we did, like, nearly a year ago. We got, we got a short nail. A bit of trash. Um, it was, it you know, it was all right, but it was it was buggy, clunky, slow, and it was like a really, really early demo. This is absolutely fantastic. Like, I mean, look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Is that not absolutely stunning? To me, that looks absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. Look at that. Sunlight across the lake. It's absolutely beautiful. It really is. And we, we get to find all of these different treasures and stuff. We go, I'm going to do one more treasure over here. And then we are going to go. I've, uh, I intended just to sort of come and have a look at this game. See what it was like. Um, I don't know about doing a series on this one. Maybe we could... As I'm sort of seriously considering doing some live streams occasionally. I'll, maybe this would be something that I might live stream. Just uh, be a... It would be a very slow, chilled out, relaxed live stream type situation, I think. Just going around finding a few treasures. There we go. Uh, but this this is a beautiful game. There is absolutely no denying. I've 
I go through when I'm reviewing a game and I look for the bad as well as the good. I look for the issues that you might encounter in a game and things like that. Um, my initial impression so far is that, well, what can I say? Quest completed, cleaning up. It's going to get frustrating not being able to press escape to come out of the menus, right? That's my standard go-to button, I press escape. That's it! I can't find any other faults with this game. This this game is doing exactly what it says on the tin. Yeah? It's, it it told you, it, it treasure hunter simulator. Find treasure with a metal detector. Just go for it. Yeah? Go for it. You want to find treasure with a metal detector? That's what we've got. You can find treasure with a metal detector. Right here in this game. That's what we've decided to give you. Yeah? You, you, you buy a game called Treasure Hunter Simulator and you're hunting treasure. I, I, that's it. It's, that's all there is to say on it. And it's, it's absolutely beautiful. It's well made. It seems to be well thought out. The locations are really nice. They're, they're beautiful. Um, I, I haven't looked at a lot of the locations, obviously. We've only looked at two of them so far. But my goodness me, the ones we've seen are absolutely amazing. You got a simple short tutorial that very quickly shows you the basics of how to play the game. And then you carry on and you get on and you do the rest of it. We've got a nail right there. Is this a valuable nail? This is not a valuable nail. It's a long nail. If we're doing a bit of DIY, it may come in useful, but um, considering our property that we live in, achievement unlocked through dirt. I've got another one now. I, I said I was going to go, but I, there's, there's more treasure to be found. Oh, no. uh, that way. That way right there. Let's just swing around a little bit. Oh, that one. That one right there. You need Q and E to rotate you around as you've got this one out while you're walking about. Over this way. Oh, there, 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 there. Uh, click, there, click. What do we got? Last, this is going to be the last treasure. This will be the last treasure that we dig up. Uh, get into the comment section. Tell me what you think of this game. Uh, would you like me to play it a little bit more? Over? That's a ring pull. Still no glorious, valuable treasures. But we do have another ring pull. Look at that. There we... I'm on another one! Okay, one more. Just, just, we're, we're just one more. I'm not, I'm not doing any more than this. Seriously, just, just the one. Uh, right, let me come out of there a minute. Where do we want to go? We're, I'm trying to find, like, the halfway point on this. I reckon about here. That's better. Right, that way... That's going less. Oh, it's this way. This is the way that we we, we need to go around this seat. Yep, it sits over here. And behind the seat. Swing it round there and go. There we go. Click. What do we got? What do we got? This this has got to be our last one. This this has got to be our last one. So yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think of the game. Uh, is this the sort of thing that you might enjoy? Is this the sort of thing you wouldn't enjoy? Do you want to see me playing more of this game? And as always, if you have enjoyed this episode, bottle cap. Seriously, we're not playing Fallout here. It's not going to do us much good, is it? If you have enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.